And so in this video, we have traveled to the island of Kolan, which is just an island off the shore of um, Hatia. It's about a 30 minute ferry ride across. You can also take a speedboat, which is much faster, but way more expensive. We only paid 30 baht from the Patia um, here to get to here. So it's great, beautiful island. So on um, in Patia, the, the main beach, the water's dark and wouldn't really swim there. So if you're ever in Patia and you want to get to a nice beach, Kolan is definitely the place because over here you actually have quite nice clear blue water and way more relaxing. Uh, there's so much restaurants and shops to go to shopping, obviously the side little stores. You can buy quite a bit of things here, which is nice. Yeah, it does give you that whole island vibe if you're ever looking for it. As previously mentioned, it is a 20 to 30 minute ferry ride to get to Koh Lan Pier. As soon as you arrive on the island, you'll be asked by many people if you need to rent a scooter. They will charge you 300 baht if you rent a scooter straight from the pier. If you go more into town, you can get a scooter for 200 baht as we did. So the place we're at now is called Nuang Beach and we've got some nice blue water here, it's amazing. Let's have a look. Ah uh, yes, Newell Beach. Sorry if I'm saying the name incorrectly, but this place was absolutely stunning. It was definitely a local hotspot because you can see a bunch of families sitting together with their umbrellas and chairs. We just decided to stay on this beach for a little bit and relax and go for a swim. So we were driving along the road and we looked to the right and there was a beautiful viewpoint. So we had to stop and take a look at that. This viewpoint is unreal. Just look at the water. It seems nearly fake. It's incredible. Even when you see it with your own eyes when you go there, it's breathtaking. Okay, so we've just stopped for lunch now at a restaurant called Dulay with our amazing friends here, Byron. Hey. Okay, so we finished lunch and now we're off to another beach section. This is our favorite beach section because it's just, it's smaller and a little bit more quiet what we hope today. <laughs> so we're just gonna show you that beach and then we will go off to the other sides and show you a bit more of the island. This beach that we were just on is called Tawen Beach. Sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. And the beach we're going to now is called Italy Sang Man Strand, which is the beach that we really like. Unfortunately, you can't drive to this Italy beach. You have to park your bike at the Tawen beach and then walk across the bridge to get here.
I hope you can see why this is our favorite beach. It is absolute paradise. Look how clear the water is. It's just unbelievable. And can you believe this is only a few hours away from Bangkok? It's just unreal. Okay, so this is the last beach that we're visiting on this beautiful island. We've had such a wonderful experience here. If you're ever in Bangkok and you just want a quick getaway maybe for two nights, this island is stunning. It gives you the same type of vibe of obviously it's not the same as being in Phi Phi and you know all those other beautiful islands um, down south, but it's close enough and it's we've it's Amazing. It's amazing. It really is. And there's so many cafes and restaurants that've got you know all white with the thatch roofs. It's it, it's so cute. It is so cute. Um the beach we're on now is called what is it called? It's called Taiyai. Taiyai Beach. Thai so, we're going to end the video at this beach. It's absolutely stunning. The water's clear, clear, clear. Blue that turquoise color that you see in most of the islands here in Thailand. Um a lot of the beaches on this island um are pretty similar. But this one's nice because it doesn't have all the boats. So if you're not, if you hate hearing the sound of boats all the time, this is definitely a beach to come to. Island actually has a lot to offer like you can go um, jet skiing you can go kayaking snorkeling um, I see in the middle of the island towards the first beach we went to they have a zip lining um, what would you call it a course a trail zip lining trail which is quite nice that a little island would offer that they also have um, <laughs> It's tubing, you know, where they put you on like a, a banana or a tube and they pull you on the jet skis and throw you around with you and your friends, which is really nice. But that was at that other beach we're at. This beach is much more quiet. So if you're looking for a quiet place that doesn't have boats or all the activities happening, this is definitely a better beach for that. Um, because as you can see, no boats. It's pretty quiet. There's one main restaurant on this beach. Um, so if you want to eat, get a drink, there's only one here, but it's very nice. Beautiful water, definitely a peaceful place to come and just relax. And the other ones are more if you're with your friends, family, and you just want to do a bunch of stuff. That side is great. This seems to be the place where everyone comes to take photos for the Instagram. There's so many people here taking photos. It's Tons. Even on the other side, on the other it seems side. to be the rocks. 